Hi everyone, it's me, Skelton, with another vlog trip for you. I want to share with y'all one of my favorite sandwiches to make. Um, it's a fun little sandwich to make, and I don't really, it's not really a recipe per se. I don't have a recipe for pimento cheese, but this sandwich is a pimento cheese sandwich, and all I do is I add ba uh, bacon and egg to it, and I just love it. It, it goes great with, it's great for lunch or dinner, and um, I have it, maybe you can add a, a fresh tomato, it's really good with that, or a cucumber if you'd like but it's a pimento cheese sandwich. Pimento cheese is one of our specialties. Uh, it's made locally and fresh here in Richmond but you can get it at any uh, grocery store really. Uh, freshly prepared pimento cheese and um, it's really good for sandwiches but if you add the bacon and egg it really makes a good sandwich if you're on the keto diet, if you're doing a keto diet or high protein diet. It's loaded with protein, loaded with fat. It'll keep you satisfied and healthy. And I've been eating this for several months now. It's helped me lose weight because it really fills me up. It makes me uh, not want to eat much after that. Um, after I cook the pimento cheese, um, after, after I cook the bacon, I save the bacon grease for later because you never know when you're going to need bacon grease. <laughs> so I'll show you all how to do it. It's really simple. I mean, it, anyone can make this. A kid can make it. 80-year-old can make it. And I make this for my dad as well. He likes it. And so I hope you all enjoy it. Pimento cheese sandwich with bacon and egg. Okay, so first we cook our bacon and make sure that your bacon gets nice and crispy. I like a nice, juicy, crispy bacon. Uh, and and health-wise, it's good for you too. You don't you don't want bacon undercooked. Notice that there's a lot of grease in the pan. Don't worry about that because you can save it for later. I always save bacon grease. You never know when you're going to need it. Okay, and the next step after you finish cooking your bacon is to go ahead and cook your eggs. Now, if you don't know how to crack an egg, bless your heart, I'll show you how to do it. <laughs> I'm not, uh, not doing the best job because the pan is a little bit hot, so I'm trying to hold on to the pan. But basically, you just crack the egg against the edge of the pan and let the egg content pour right into the pan. It's very simple, very easy. And if you see any uh, eggshell, just make sure to remove it, although technically you may want to make sure you do that before the pan is too hot. And uh, this will be very easy and later we're going to flip our eggs over. So you want to make eggs over easy. Make sure you do that like a crepe. Okay, this is the pimento cheese I use. I prefer Miss Marshall's because it's made locally here in Richmond, Virginia, but um, I ran out, so I got some pimento cheese from Fresh Market. Uh, it's not quite as good, and it's not local, but uh, we do the best we can. You can pick up pimento cheese at any uh, local grocery store. If you don't live in the South, I think you might have to order it online because I don't know if they sell pimento cheese north of Washington, D.C., so as you can see, I've got my pimento cheese spread out on a nice toasty bread with the bacon. And the next step we need to do is turn our eggs over. So you want to make eggs over easy. So we're going to attempt to turn the eggs over and make sure that the eggs are sort of like a crepe um, where it's, it's nice and folded over and it's not running with yolk. You don't want runny egg yolk on your pimento cheese. Believe you me, it's not a pretty picture. And there it is, folks, a pimento cheese sandwich with bacon and egg. I hope you all enjoy it. Go to my website at meatskeletonsplace.com, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.